Hello, hello. Once again, this is Hashim Whitmore, the world's great would be the world's greatest barber.com. Um, some of you guys know me as the Uncut Barber, and I really appreciate um, all the love that you've been showing me on this channel, y'all. Uh, on the, the website, even though it's still in its early stages, you guys are coming in, logging in, um, subscribing, and that's just amazing. Uh, Shout outs uh, this week uh, to um, the apprentice program locally here in Sacramento at the Wham Hair Studio. Uh, it's been great collab collaborating with you guys and um, just doing more and more uh, with you guys. So um, also collaboration. Uh, thank you for to Federico's um, Beauty School here in Sacramento, California, for allowing me to come out there and speak to your class. Speaking is great. It's what barbers do. Uh, you know, almost 90% of their job is speaking effectively. You know, the 95% is is listening effectively. And you're gonna have, if you're a great barber, you're gonna have a lot of time to listen, a lot of time to see, a lot of time to watch and observe. Uh, people grow right in front of your eyes. So this is a special issue of uh, the Uncut Barber. This is actually uh, dedicated um, to what I'm going to uh, refer to as the three brothers because I won't put your names out there. Um, but the three brothers. I've been uh, cutting these boys for uh, almost 11 years now. So I watched them grow up from little, little men, you know, oldest being in high school when I met them, when I met them, then, uh, you know, high school, uh, uh, the, the younger, uh, younger in high school, like freshman in high school, and then the junior high, the youngest, the, the, uh, the baby. All of them are amazing people, y'all. And you guys are amazing. Do you realize I've seen you all grow up and from getting your first piece of ass, from uh, getting your first job, to going to school, to changing jobs, to following um, your passion, to giving, you know, to, you know, you want to be a doctor, you want to be in sales, you want to be in music. You guys are amazing. You guys are, uh, are survivors. You know, when and I had so much pride in knowing y'all because I saw when your parents went through a divorce, you guys came together. You guys were at the shop every week. You guys were hooping together. You guys were playing ball. You guys did all that stuff together. Somebody said something to the to the oldest, the youngest would be right there ready to whip some ass, you know, and that's how y'all survived those hard times and came together. And there was a, a rough and rocky times along the way, you know, pops was doing this, mom was on her hype, you know, they were going through stuff because they're human and going through a divorce and, you know, it's not easy on anybody. Trust me. Pops did a lot of foul shit when my parents went through a divorce, right? Said some hurtful things to me, right? You know, said I wasn't a uh, wasn't a good son. Uh, uh, you know, just it's terrible. You know, it's just things like that that you know caused a lot of a lot of pain. Coming up to my school. Uh, um, while and out, you know, all that kind of stuff, you know, and that could be really hard for a young kid. My brother only being five years older than me, you know, he was the one that had to talk on the phone with pops and get him in this place, tell him, hey man, you know, you can't, you can't go up to Sheen school, you know, things like that, talk to him like an adult and step into that father role, help me to get to that next level. Um, we're pursuing my education, we're pursuing my goals, uh, pursuing my, my dreams, you know, with barbering. 
my brother had to uh, step into that to that uh, kind of like guidance role, you know. So I see you brothers, and I see how all at some point in time you guys have watched out and protected one another, you know. And sometimes we get we make mistakes as as brothers, you know. Shit, my brother. When I went out to D.C. and left uh, everything behind when I was living in San Diego, came out to D.C. to go to barber school, uh, you know, right, not long after I got into school and, you know, gave up my income and things, things like that to, to pursue this barbering career, my brother basically left me out there on my own. So I had to scramble, live with family, do all those type of things. I was really hurt by that, you know, but it's an amazing thing having a brother because, you know, brothers do come around and brothers are there when you need them. Now, what it took for him to get there, what it takes to shake him up, I don't know. I think my mom got, personally, I think my mom got into, got into his ass and kind of just kind of checked him and let him know. And maybe that's what you guys need. Because at this point in time, it's very sad to see all you guys come into the shop on separately. Sometimes even on the same day, it's a trip. And every one of you is talking about a hurt or a pain or not being together like you guys used to be and how it's hurting. And it saddens me because... I know how strong you guys can be. I know that each one of you is is hurting. I wish I could do something about it. I all you know. I wish I could put you guys all in the same room so you guys could actually hear the issues that you have with one another. And you guys are so much alike, and you guys are all so amazing, and you guys have so so many great potentials. But you gotta come together, y'all. You know. Uh, one being out there and it's like a fist man <laughs> it's really like a fist uh, one finger can't do too much damage but all of you guys together you can make a powerful fist and go after and get amazing you know and so don't give up on one another you know because a lot of you I mean all you have is your family all you have, and you guys are blessed to have each other. So try not to let another day go by where you guys aren't rocking with each other, inspiring one another, going to each other's events. You know, um, it's not time to give up on, uh, on each other now. You guys need each other more now than you did back then. So certain successes are coming into play. Money is coming into play. Achievement is coming into play. You know, so everybody's, you guys are looking at each other, where you guys are at, your point of view, your your uh, your perception on different stages, uh, different things in life. But you got to remember, you guys are all really at different stages in your development. That's so, that's so powerful because you can learn from that. You can embrace that. You can, you can actually have a brother that you love unconditionally and which I know you guys do and be in their corner and support them throughout all these different stages because at one point in time I'm sorry to tell you but you went through that stage however short-lived it was you know and I know you guys don't think uh, that uh, certain ones are doing enough are uh, and, uh, are motivated enough, are driven enough. You know, this is not the time where you let them go. This is not the time where you stop being in their corner. I ain't never stopped being in your corner, so you don't stop being in your brother's corner. You guys don't stop being in each other's corner. Stop. Put, put the bullshit aside. Relationships and what you guys have outside of that 
of that bond are going to come and go. But you only get so many brothers in this world. You only get so many people that share the same DNA, uh, share the same exact background and all that. And that's what you guys have right now. Come together, y'all. Come together. Talk. Listen. Feel. And then I don't care if the, the words always match up, but you know what's in that person's heart. You know uh, uh, that in each of you, you three brothers, your heart is really going out for each other. And you guys are hurting not having each other any one another in each other's life. So my recommendation is somebody, one of y'all, do your best to put that, put that, that hurt. I know it hurts. I know it hurts. I see it in your eyes all the time. I I know each one of you guys have some deep, some deep pain in there. I want you to understand that you guys also need each other. You guys need each other so much. And you guys see each other every day. You guys walk past each other. You guys barely say what's up to each other. I remember there was a time when we, if you saw one, you saw the other one. You know, get back to that, y'all. You know, uh, life does get better. All these stages don't last forever. You know, it don't last forever, you know, and life is so fragile. Somebody could be here and gone the, the here today and gone tomorrow. And don't miss that opportunity to love the ones that are your loved ones. So take care. This is Shane. Y'all know me as Max Shane. Hey, let's bring it back together, y'all. All right. Uh, take care. Questions, comments, emails. Uh, you guys know where to hit me, but this one is specifically for y'all. So let's get together, man. All right. Peace.